Good morning, freediving family. I'm here with Harry Lindley, and he's going to take us out on his boat today for a day of spearing. The aim today is to hit some quite deep shoals to see if we can get some kingfish or, or some other pelagic fish in the area. It's also the very first time that Danger Dan Parsons has ever gone spearfishing before. So Dan has never in his life gone spearfishing, um, and we are going to show him how to do it. And when I say we, I, I mean Harry is going to show him how to do it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Let's get going. Just texting my mum, letting her know I'll be safe today. <laughs> Big stingray off the back of the boat here. So we've come to a, a little practice spot for Dan so that we can get Dan in the water with the gun for the first time and hopefully spear his first fish uh, before we head out to the deep shoal for the day. Um, so this is a place called Hat Head. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Nice. Um, <laughs> we're going to give it a crack and see how it goes. Just got to run in through a few safety tips. This is the pointy end, believe it or not. <laughs> um, <laughs> What I say is, you know, the only only safe gun's an unloaded gun, so when it is loaded, you don't want to be pointing it at anyone at any time, so, you know, point it away from people, basically. Once it is loaded, though, and you do want to aim it at something, I usually aim down the down the line of the gun, just so you can get a bit more of an accurate shot, pull the trigger, and hopefully you can get yourself the first fish. Cool. Yeah, I, mean, I want to get, like, a, um, a doggy or something like that. That's yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doggy. about 40, 50 kilos yeah, is what just we're looking like at. Like stone it, yeah. yeah and that's then right. When I look at fish, I want to do these ones, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just cock it. Hi, oh. Puffy! Ah, uh, some oh, seals. Hi. Some seals have come to say hello. The great thing about teaching someone like Dan to spearfish is that you don't need to teach them how to dive, you just need to teach them how to hunt. Dan started swimming around on the top of this rock bed, but it wasn't a place where we were going to find fish. So I told him to go up and look for a crack or a wall or something along those lines. Lucky he got that lesson from Harry because spearfishing can be very hazardous. and very, very highly regarded species that is rock cod. Rock cod. Uh, it's yeah. also a huge rock cod. Um, <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> but he did really well. He shot his first fish and uh, we, are, we are going to be eating this tonight. So no fish goes to waste, even a rock cod. Good stuff, man. High five. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've come to an offshore reef. It comes up to about 15 meters here. So we're going to go down and just see what's around there. Um, the water, the viz has been terrible for the past few days, but it's actually looking a little bit cleaner out here, so hopefully we get some reasonably clean water, but um, regardless, there will be fish. Right, I'm making the call right now. Oh, my snorkel. <laughs> Just chuck him in. Man, the water looks great. I was waiting in the undertow. Harry and I both started with a cheeky little dive down just to check out the reef. The reef here is about 15 to 20 meters deep. On his next dive down, Harry shot this beautiful Samson fish. I was waiting in the undertow. Can't touch the bottom. Sit into a tumble. Waves that shake me out. And obviously not to be outdone, I needed to get down there and bring back something nice. I don't know if you know this, but red moong are the most desirable fish species in the world. Losing my direction. 
first drift along this reef and I've got myself Big Daddy Red Mowong. And <laughs> Harry got himself a really nice Samson fish. Yeah, these are such nice eating. Pumped. You said that um, when you shot that there was kingies coming up? When I when I was bringing this one up, I had two big kingies about 90 centimeters chasing it up. Yeah, so we might go back for them. I might bring the flasher in the water this time and yeah. jiggle it around a bit, see what comes in. Sounds good. I'm out here with the, uh, the free diving daddy. He's the baddest daddy of them all. <laughs> daddy Adam, free diver. Getting those daddy fish. On my first dive down with the flasher, I saw a bunch of kingfish just in the distance. That's awesome. That's sick. Harry swam right over and had a shot. It was dirty down there. I saw like two and I just shot right in the distance like Hail Mary. So we both took a moment to chill out, breathe a little bit, and then we went down again. <laughs> So, second drift, Harry and I both got ourselves a nice kingy. Uh, there were a lot of kings down there, a lot of fish down there, so we're, we're going back for another drift right now. And Dan, Dan's like, oh, I want to shoot a kingfish now. I want to shoot a kingfish. I don't want any of this rock cod stuff. I want <laughs> so we're going to go and see what we can do about that. <laughs> On my first dive down, I didn't see anything, but then as I was swimming back up, I spotted a bunch of little kingfish coming up towards the flasher. So in that drift, I shot this just legal kingfish. This is 66 centimeters and the legal size is 65. So like I went down, I shot it and as I was swimming up, much bigger kingies were coming in and I was like, where's Harry? Where's Harry? Get down here. And Harry was like off gallivanting somewhere else on the reef and I was so upset because there were some good kings that came in chasing this one. Um, but you know, I think we might, um, we might sashimi this fish right here on the boat. Whoa, something I think, Oh, the shark. I thought that's a sort of thing. Oh, it might have been a seal. It might have been a seal. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I think we might sashimi this fish up right here on the boat because kingfish sashimi is beautiful. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to get stuck into it. Daniel Parsons going to shoot his first kingfish today. Kingfish sashimi. That's beautiful. Oh, by the way, you know those sharks I thought I saw before? They were actually potted dolphins. Dan, I don't 
that you were eating a banana on this boat? Oh, f bananas are bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> It was about time we got down in the water, so we went in with the flash out. We had Dan diving down on it looking for kings. So, Dan and Harry have just jumped in to have a bit of a spear, and uh, I'm just being Bodhi for the moment. Um, but this, it's just so beautiful out here. I mean, like, look at, look at that water. It's all glassy and nice, beautiful and blue. Such an incredible day out in the water, and I'm pretty stoked with those kingfish and my big, my big mama, <laughs> big mama Mo Wong. <laughs> After a few dives, Dan spotted his first kingfish in the water, but he just missed it. I then jumped in the water and started flashing for him to bring the fish up closer to the surface, and he saw another kingfish, but missed it once again. We've been drifting along this spot a, a fair amount. Dan had a few shots at some kingfish, but he did not land any. But, but I'm hooked. But he's hooked on spearfishing, which is good. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> so now we're gonna head uh, to uh, another deep, like a deep reef, a deep shoal, and uh, and have a have a bit of a drift on it and just see what's there. Um, we probably won't stay there too long because we're all crampy and tired and hungry. Uh, but we'll give it a crack and then and then finish the day up. So this is our final spot of the day. Gonna do a few drifts here and see what's coming around. So basically we're in about 40 meters of water and then there's a pinnacle that comes up to about 20 meters. Um, so there are low kingfish and other fish in general around there. Um, so we're gonna go on with the flasher and see what we can flash up a little bit. And, uh, it's much clearer here. It's blue. This was a super impressive little reef. It was about 25 meters on the bottom and there were fish and bait everywhere. I was just hanging around the flasher when this shark came in really hot at me. Yeah, whoop, whoop, whoop. So we, uh, you know, decided to get out of the water. So we did a few drifts and, uh, <laughs> and then I think we had like a big bronze whaler shark come in and just scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're like, ah! Oh, Maybe it's time to call it for the day. Maybe we should just go in. Yeah, we got some good fish earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone was like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Cracking day. Really, honestly, amazing day. Um, guys, if you haven't checked out Harry Lindley's channel, make sure you go and check it out. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Harry does some really cool spearfishing content and some really cool just like living off the land content. So it's really, really great. I appreciate it. Dan, how was your first spearfishing experience? It was sick. Yeah? It really, really was sick. I was always so off it. But like, like probably doing it for a day and going all the spots and like, I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm buying a gun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get that. Can you get the, the bronze whaler that scared us out of the water decided to just uh, hang around the boat. <laughs> home and we're gonna cook up that big kingfish. Yeah, Thanks mate. for coming out Adam. Absolute pleasure. Appreciate it. And on the way in we spotted some humpback whales because you know dolphins, sharks and kingfish just weren't enough. So this is the king air shot today so we're gonna fill him up now and we're gonna put him on the barbecue. So this is gonna be delicious. Um, this is definitely the biggest kingfish I think I've ever shot. 
Oh. oh, have we got a blunt knife? Oh, it's okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful meat. That's just one of the fillets. There's a lot of meat there. So we're just gonna cook them up here. This is like a little electric Weber barbecue. Oh, 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 you were meant to go this way. Um, so I'm just gonna like put it down here. We haven't got anything to cook with. Like we don't even have oil. Um, that's all in town and we're just gonna, you know, hope things go well. Um, worst comes to worst, we leave a whole bunch of fish on the barbecue that we clean up later. But <laughs> we'll see how this goes in a little bit. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. How's that? That's good. Yeah, it's nice really eh? Mmm. That was so good. Honestly, that is so, so good. Next week, Dan and I explore the sea caves in Jervis Bay. We didn't exactly get a good day of weather for it, but calm seas make for poor adventures. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe by pressing this little circular thing down here. Also, check out this video. Or you might want to check out this video because you might like it too. Ha, ha, ha.